In this video, I'm gonna take this barn sale dirty junk and make it into something fabulous. Welcome to my garage. Each week, I am trying to pull some small stuff out to get to the big stuff, so stay tuned. First up, old cabinet, I found it in a estate sale full of junk. This was all sitting in the yard and the barn for a long time, so it's all very dirty and gross. First thing I did was take off the back so I could take it apart and clean it. I used my favorite Humble Suds, which is a cleaning concentrate, 100% natural, mixed with water. Sprayed it down really well, took off the price tags, and wiped this thing out. It was dirty. I next used a piece of 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the scratches and get it ready for painting. I painted the inside with DIY paint and vintage linen, and then went ahead, stamped it, and put on liquid patina. I will do the same with the rest of this piece. I did use the IOD Kindest Regards stamp. It's a beautiful love letter and makes a wonderful backdrop. I also took the shelves apart so I could paint them easier. I decided to use the clear patina because it is an all natural product and has a sheen similar to wax. I did the outside with little black dress from DIY paint, only one coat and it covered it all. When the paint was dry, I used a piece of 320 grit sandpaper to smooth the surface. I used a damp rag to take off the dust so get it ready for a top coat as well. DIY paint clear patina will go on thick but it will dry clear and smooth and there is no smell. And here it is finished what a difference the top coat makes. Next up I'm going to make over this picture that I got at barn sale when I got a big lot of stuff. It was kind of chipping the finish on it. It was really quite lovely, but the finish as it was wasn't going anywhere and I looked up, tried to see the value of it. I couldn't find anything even remotely close to it. No stamp on it, so I know it was probably something really nicely made at one point, but without a stamp of where it was, I did spray prime it. I like it just plain white. I'm gonna go ahead and put Winter Song Transfer on it. I use the paintable IOD Winter Song Transfer next. The Winter Song Paintable Transfer does require a little more care because the lines are so thin. Also, when doing a round project, probably would have been better to have something to stabilize it, but I was just going with the flow and managed to get that on. Once it is on, use the paper to burnish it. Last project, this lovely 80s mirror, it is Filthy gross, you can see the grime down there. Very dated looking. I'm gonna give it a new look. This is gonna go in my space at Antique Co-op shortly, and I'm gonna to continue to move through my garage with all of my small little junky findings and clear it out to get ready for some nice big projects. This needed several rounds of cleaning. It was really filthy. I used a rag and went over it several times. <laughs> I got right to the painting. I'm using DIY paint and vintage linen. You can see how much that covers with just one coat. I ended up doing two coats because that turquoise was so strong. I wanted to add detail, so I'm using the IOD Classic Elements Mold. Use cornstarch in the molds before you put the air dry clay in. To roll the clay into a flat surface and press it in, I use a scraper to even it out and I also use the IOD brayer to get it really smooth. Turn your mold upside down and let gravity do the work for you. Slowly unroll it and you should have no problem with it coming out. I like to use wood glue to have the mold stick. It is wood fibers in it. I just use an inexpensive brush and paint on the wood glue. Make sure to get your edges really well and while it's drying keep pressing the edges down I repeated this with other molds if you have thin lines on your mold just go a little slower as you take it out of the mold I'm super 
super happy with how this turned out. The air dry clay dried really nice and hard, so I'm gonna wax it now and add some aging dust for some depth of color and to really highlight the detail in these really pretty little molds. To really bring out the detail, I am using clear wax to seal it, and then I am going to use DIY paint aging dust. Be sure to really saturate the piece with the clear wax. It will look weird. We call it the freak out factor. It's gonna get translucent and sometimes color underneath the color of paint will show through. It will dry just perfect. Okay, I'm using the aging dust. It is basically just colored crushed pumice and you wanna put it in when the wax is wet. I poured some out onto a paper towel because I can then pour back into the container what I didn't use. A little of this goes a long way. When you are finished, you can probably wipe off some of the excess dust. You can also use clear wax to go over it if you feel like you have too much and you can't quite get it off, it acts as an eraser. Okay, the wax is totally dry. I am buffing it to a low shine and it is just about finished. And here it is, three projects done and out of my garage. I can pull my car into the garage and get out and not ding the door. I can also get out on the passenger side now and not have it hit a million different things. I clearly have a lot of work to do. My goal is to get this cleared out completely so I have one piece of furniture at a time. Stay tuned and please support this channel so I can continue to bring you all of my dumpster and junk makeovers. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I also have a blog of the same name and follow me on social media so you don't miss any trash.